good morning guys welcome to today we got this big bad boy all hooked up did you call me yeah oh what did you want whatever you were calling me for i called you because my car said low tire pressure oh. and then 45 minutes later you called me back when i already drove to town and was on my way back it was a long time later. Anyway, welcome to today. We are headed away from the farm today. Watch him. Watch him. I tied him up right here. I love and this barn. Leather, leather on. It broke because he, he was he, he broke free. <gasps> Stormy boy. Yeah, I was out there catching Willow. I was like, good job, Willow, for not running from me. Cause she only lets me catch her when she's in this area. And then I was, heard a bang, and I was like, what? And Storm was chilling there. He was like, you it know was what? This is stupid. Anyway, we're going out because uh, I haven't been showing you guys Sophie's riding lessons lately because we've been riding at home. Look, perfectly good halter. No. Nope. Is that Gabby's? Yes, it's his leather halter. Ew. Stormy night. Do you have another? Chinos. Um, let me get mine. Watch because... it. Watch. Okay. Someone has, okay, go get yours. And uh, okay. So uh, today we're going to riding lessons because... It's not been working out at this house. The ground is hard now because we haven't had any rain. And it just doesn't seem good. So, driving in to someplace new. Oh, good lord. How do I know which one is mine? Do I have one? What's that? This might be one. So, we've been waiting for it to rain all week. It's supposed to have been raining like five times. I'm going to pack some treats too. <laughs> I know, they're like, I want you. Come sit with me. They're like toddlers. They want me to come and sit with them so that they can like eat and do whatever they want. So we've been waiting for this rain and it didn't show and it didn't show and it didn't show. And then today, the day that we decided we're gonna trailer out for lessons, it rains. It's only just barely raining. It's so dark in here. All right, let's go. Are you bringing Willow or not? Yeah, we're bringing Willow. Okay. I have a plan for my cabinet to make it, to take it to the next level. Someone messaged me yesterday and gave me the best idea. Oh, what a good boy. He's like, yeah, this farm is boring. Let's go someplace. Chino's over there watching all the drama. He's like, what's happening? <laughs> Where's somebody going? Look at all the bays in that field. You guys see it? Chino's like, I really want to go. <laughs> take me. We are actually up 15 minutes early. I'm gonna maybe have to uh, get Chino a friend. Okay, honestly, everything is falling apart. All the goats came running in when Chino was screaming. Oh, you gotta stay here. Have some, have some hay. <laughs> you, you guys keep him company, okay? Just keep him company. Holy moly. Sorry. I hear the girls out there screaming because Storm's gone. I hear the goats, the bit jingle jangle of the goats bells. And I hear Chino freaking out. Let's do this thing. <laughs> All right, Storm is acting like a wild. This thing is not even done right. Yeah, I know, we couldn't get it. That's why we said we can't get it. There's other horses here, so he's like. I want to eat you all and let you well, know I'm the walk. boss of you. I'm going to get you to walk. Whoa. Boy, Whoa. Whoa. Boy. Come on. Good boy. I'll be able to handle him with one point. Yeah, I can handle you. Right? He's wild. He's like a little bit wild. You're okay. <laughs> oh, uh, we're not in the right spot. All right, <laughs> listen, you're not staying here. You don't have to fight anybody. It's all okay. What? I feel like you feel like Willow spooky? More spooky. The problem with Storm is that Gabby is his person. So when she's not here, he feels not himself. <laughs> We're just walking in circles. <laughs> what the heck? Look, look. <laughs> Do you remember when you were a jumping horse? Yeah. Remember, it's okay. We're not leaving you. I think he's having flashbacks. 
you having flashbacks? I have to warm her up though. I think he thinks Sorry. we're leaving him. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> it's okay. Look, he's an Appaloosa. I, we didn't tell you guys, but really, our horse is an Appaloosa. So he's riding an Appaloosa. It's raindrops. Storm's a little bit better and calmed down now. He's just getting tacked up. And then I'm gonna, and then Sophie's gonna get on and warm up. Um, but I took this time to clean up a little bit of this. This part of our trailer has, I have the hardest time cleaning it because people, everybody just throws stuff here. It's like a catch-all, but I wanna get it all cleaned up. You can see like all of our, so many things are back there. I don't even know what that gray stuff is back there. We've got saddle pads in here. We got everything in here. This is all of our Christmas stuff. I want to start working with the goats and see if I can get them to walk on a leash. I found my pink hoodie. That's the name. It's black, obviously, but it's called pink. And I've been looking everywhere for that. And another thing we've been looking for is Gracie's fly mask. So I'm going to put those in the truck. Also found one Burks of my is a hard favorite brooms. All right, he is calm, a lot calmer, feeling happier. He gets it now, he gets the memo. It's like, once you put the saddle on, he's like, oh, that's why I'm here. But man, he was not having it at first. Storm is literally the kind of horse that's like, I will fight you before. He's like a fight, you know, fight or flight. He will always fight. They got Willow? So. Yeah, we're gonna bring Willow over. You guys, look. You see? The horses came to stay with Chino while we were gone. Isn't that so nice? There was an apple tree at that barn, and our horses got apples for their yeah, treat. Willow had like five. <laughs> Lots of apples in too. Yeah, they had a lot of apples. We are home. So I noticed that Storm lost weight. A couple of days ago, like that, he, he that he started to bulk down a little, and I thought maybe it was muscle because of the heat. We weren't working him as much, but then the last couple of days, it's been better, and he still hasn't gained. I know we have lots of grass out there because Penny and Willow and I don't know Penny and Gracie and Honey are all doing well. I'm gonna add some more stuff. To Storm's diet to help him bulk out. Actually, I noticed that Penny lost a little too. Anyways, it was a really good lesson. Very soon, we're gonna have to start making changes to their diet anyway, how we feed them because the grass is, is getting done. You're home. Go eat, eat lots. Anyway, we can fix that easily. Oh, are you ready? <laughs> can I just let him and he'll go? Maybe. All right. Just go. Go to your friends. Go. I have no halter on you. Just go. So also we have Farrier tomorrow to get his shoe back on. Hi, Pat. Gabby is not going to be happy that we broke her halter. It's the very first halter that she ever got, and it's the one with Storm's name. She's turning more Pal palomino -y. Oh my gosh, she's like, I gotta get the germs off. I was someplace different. Yeah. Watch out. She's more of a Palomino. Except for that spot. That spot's wet. Yep, she's getting a little darker. Everybody's. I like Honey's name, but another name. I, Can't. I love her name being Pop Tart, though. That would be There but you go. Another name that I would like it to be. Thanks for holding down the crib while we were gone. What? You were so excited to be here. He's, He's like, can I have her drinks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll get drinks. Here, right here, right here. Here, Storm. Storm. Stormy. Come on, look, you get treats. Here. I, you are a really good boy, so. Yeah, I bribed him. It is horse show week. Come here. I know I gave you an apple, because they were in the grand. And actually, we're just starting our fall horse shows. We have a few that we're gonna do this fall. I know it's you that eats this stuff. What is on your shelter. teeth? They're like, they been waiting for you all day. <laughs> We've been missing you. Oh my gosh. Right, Chino. What the heck, Chino? Oh, that is dangerous. Let's get the salt block back for him. 
And so we took away his salt lick because his, his salt levels are really high, but that's what he does when he's bored. I guess that's why he does it. He does it when he's bored. And we took it away to keep him healthy. Here, help me carry this, Sophie. As soon as I put it in there, he went flying right over to it. He missed it. I think that's why he does it. Remember I told you guys, like, he's on his salt. He eats salt licks, like, for dessert. He eats them all the time. I bet you he does it when he's bored. Let's throw him some more hay. When we went to that barn today, I Storm was acting a little bit Stupid. wild. No, we have to be really careful how we say things because I swear I hurt his feelings. Like, I could tell I hurt his feelings. He... I told the coach, oh, Storm got off the trailer ready to kill everybody. And he seriously whipped his head around, stared straight in my eyes and had like the most painful look in his, in his eyes. Like he, like I swear he was hurt. And people say that horses can't understand obviously what you say, but then I've seen psychics talk to animals and repeat things that you've said. Like when Finn used to say, when Finn, she did Finn and Finn asked her, what's the dollar store? Remember that? Mm -hmm. And Sophie, when she was little, was addicted to the dollar store and she would say, I still am. Finn, I'm going to the dollar store. I'll try and find something there for you. And he asked the psychic, what's the dollar store? The, the, Psychic had no way of knowing. I know I hurt Storm's feelings when I said that. Like, even if it's not true, but on the off chance that it is true, and I believe it is true, that they can understand, even if it's not the words you say, but the intentions behind your words, I'm done with that. I'm gonna try and say things like in a nicer way. It's only good practice anyways for life. I often say things in a joking manner, and I've said it things about Chino before too, like how he's like a lemon. Everything goes wrong with Chino. Like it doesn't matter what it is, everything goes wrong. But I shouldn't say that stuff because I don't really mean that he's like a lemon and that everything goes wrong with him. It's not his fault, obviously. And everybody else knows that I'm joking. People around us know that I'm joking. And I'm just expressing the way that I express, but he doesn't know. And seeing that hurt in Storm's eye today though, it hurt me so much. Like. It's, oh, as soon as he looked at me like that, he put his face really close to mine. And I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I was just kidding. I didn't mean that. I know that you're just trying to keep people safe. And like, he's such a regal, kind horse. And it comes, he's often assertive or aggressive in the way that he behaves. But I know that it always comes from like a good place. Like he's so protective of his horses. and. I want to try and not be so nonchalant about the things that I say about them in front of them. But Chino's losing weight. Like, Chino's weight gain. Took him off grass because he started to get sore again. And never since we took him off grass, he doesn't look as good. And it's stressful. Anyways, that's it. That's my emotional... <laughs> That's my emotional meltdown for today. Comment below if you think that horses really do understand what you're trying to say. I've seen so many instances where horses do hear what you say and have said to psychics that they're hurt by it. I definitely don't want to hurt their feelings. Let me get my goat and no, you- No, because I'm going to free line trailer wrap in. Ah, all right. We're going to go and get the, the baby. I know Willow's Will is like, I want to be worked with. I know, Willow had such a good day. Why are there white feathers here? This is suspicious. All right, now I'm worried. What the heck? Why is there white feather there? So my favorite goat of all time is our little buck. I love him because I've seen bucks before that are like nasty. I've seen bucks try and hurt people. I've seen bucks be like aggressive and stuff and the little buck that we have is literally the sweetest goat I've ever known in my life. He's just so cuddly. Come on goats, we're gonna work together. Everybody's curious. What's happening in the field? This pony always is up for a good time. Look at how she how her hair has like so many different colors. She's got light spots and dark spots. She, looks like, she looks like a zebra. She looks like she has zebra stripes. She's a little chunky. Okay, can you see it better now? It's really cool. It's different shading. So she's got like a dark stripe here, a dark stripe here, a dark stripe here, and then in between she's got light stripes. Come here, 
grab. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Nobody invited you. <laughs> I just need to make sure my duck and my goose are okay. Yep, they're okay. Ellie literally never asked me to lift her up and carry her. Just like maybe once a month, she'll say, I need to be carried. And it's weird. I don't know what makes it happen. It's raining now, though, and she's asking me to carry her. But I never get to carry her and snuggle her, ever. Even at night, when it's bedtime, if I even look like I'm going to pick her up, she jumps down off my bed and goes to lay somewhere else. She doesn't like it. She's never liked it. Let's put the camera up here. Let's go in the other section where it's brighter. Give me a reason. I'm gonna send a sign. Calling you over. Calling you to my life. the way. We'll around the world together. So the way. Come again. It's now or never. We're going on. did her got her very first high school test back so in homeschool you don't usually do tests you just keep working on something until you know you, your kid has it so it's her very first test in like a lot of years at school her very first high school test what do you think she got for a mark 97 percent wrong yeah, <laughs> but you think really good percent. no gabby what'd you get on your first high school test i thought you were saying Participation. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What did you actually get? Uh, 94. She takes after her dad. <laughs> she takes after her dad. I had to study my butt off to get 97%. Gabby just wings it and I'm gets 94. Scared. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way.